Hello students, Ms. Sliman here, and I'm going to talk you through this Desmos activity on slope fields. So here I am, I've clicked the link from our student planner, which you can find there, and it asks me to sign in. Remember, if you sign in, you'll be able to revisit it, so I definitely suggest signing in with Google. So here I go. All right, so this is a reminder on our definition of differential equations. Most of this is in your toolkit already, but here we go. So a first order differential equations is a function in terms of x, dy dx, and maybe also y. A solution is a relation, which could be a function but doesn't have to be, in terms of both x and y that satisfy our given differential equation. So we can find it algebraically by integrating, but we can't always integrate. So when I can't integrate, I can use my given information to try to predict predict what the function or relation would look like. So slope fields is one of those ways. All right, so this picture here is a slope field. It shows all possible solutions for a differential equation. So when I say all possible solutions, it's because when we integrate, we have the plus C, right? Which when I take a derivative, any constant becomes zero. So when we go backwards and integrate, we might have different co constants. So that's what I'm talking about here with all possible solutions. Now let's think about how this was made. So this differential equation is negative x divided by y. So that means I could go to any point. Let's say I go to the point 3, 1. And if I plugged that in, I would end up with negative 3 over 1, which tells me the slope at that particular point would be negative three, which is pretty steep. And so I can see that I have a steep slope here. If we think about the point one zero, that would give us, sorry, that point is zero one. So I would end up with a slope of zero, which is why I have a horizontal line there. And then if I think about when I take points from the x-axis when y is zero, well, there my slope would be undefined and I can see that there is nothing drawn for any of the points on the x-axis and that's because I would divide by zero. All right, what do you think is up with the colors? So what I'm seeing is that the colors are changing based on the y values. So it looks to me that like different colors correspond to different values of y is what I would say. All right, here we have a different slope field. This one matches the differential equation one over x minus y. So one over x, this time I have no points on the y axis because I can't divide by zero. And I wanna use the sketch tool to point out interesting regions on the graph. So I've got my sketch tool here. So I would say one of them is the one I just talked about, like the x axis, sorry, that's the y axis. That's interesting because I have no points. Um, it looks like I've got points that are all sort of approaching asymptotes. So it looks like that as I follow along, I've got vertical asymptotes, which makes sense because this ends up being a um, rational graph. And yeah, so that would be something else I would point out. There's lots of things you could point out, though, of things you find interesting. Maybe I see that the larger the value of y, the steeper the curve. I see also in this quadrants one and two, my slopes are all negative. But in quadrants three and four, my slopes are all positive. That could be something else you talk about. But again, a notice and wonder is for you to notice and wonder. All right, this was the first slope field that we saw, but now we have the point negative three, four, which represents an initial condition. So this would help me determine what the C value is when I integrate. So again, I'm gonna use my sketch tool and try to sketch the relation which matches to that differential equation. So, I'm gonna treat all my slopes like a wind pattern. So basically I'm gonna go from this slope and try to follow it. So this is pointing me sort of this direction. And then once I go that way, I'm getting flatter, 
Now my slopes are getting negative, it appears. So I'm going to go down. So I'm going to continue to try to sort of follow these around. I look like I've got a vertical slope here, which I know because I'm dividing by zero. Continue going. I'm going to keep going around. So it looks like this equation is actually making a circle. And I sort of see that when I look at the graph as well, because this looks to me like concentric circles, just with bigger and bigger radii. So that's what I mean when I say follow the breeze. So you're sort of following one slope to the next. All right, so there we go. All right, so now this slope field doesn't depend on y. This is completely x dependent. So notice at every x value, I have the same slope because it doesn't depend on the y. So that's why my for each x value, I have a vertical line of same slopes. All right, so I'm going to try and follow for 6. So trace through the point. So this looks like it's going up this way. Keep going up. And now coming down, it looks like it's going sort of this way, following along. And now it looks like it's curving back up. So this to me sort of looks parabolic, I would say. And in fact, this is something we know how to integrate. So if I wanted to take the integral of this, let's see if this works. I've never tried doing this before. So I'm going to try and make it blue. And let's see what happens when I try to write on the screen. So if I was going to integrate this, I would say dy is 1 fourth x plus 1 dx. And I want my x's to all be together because now when I integrate, well, integral of 1 dy is just y. I know the integral of this is going to be x squared divided by the 2. So I'll get 1 eighth x squared. And then I'll have a plus x plus c. But I know my initial condition is 4 6. So I'm going to come down and say 6 is 1 eighth times 4 squared. That's going to be 2 plus 4 plus c. So c is 0. So then this looks like it's going to be the equation y equals 1 eighth x squared plus x, which is in fact a parabola. And it's a parabola that goes through the point 0, 0, which I happened to sketch. Oh, OK, let's go back to there. Oh, fun. So this is a match game for you. Try to put together slope fields with their differential equations. Um, and so I would think about, for example, here, I can't plug in y equals 0. So I would be looking for a slope field that has no slopes along the x-axis. I would also be thinking about like positive negatives. So for example, cos squared is always going to be positive. So I'll be looking for things that only have positive slopes. Uh, here I'm dividing by 0 when x is 0. So this could be positive or negative, etc., etc. Uh, the other thing I would think about with my cosines is that I know that negative 1 less than or equal to cos x less than or equal to 1. So even if I cube it, so this one will go between negatives and positives, but always between negative 1, positive 1. Similarly, this is always going to be between 0, uh, dy, dx, and sometimes it can be 0, less than or equal to 1. So I'm looking for slopes that are only positive and have a maximum value of 1. All right, so now we want to make our own slope field. So think about plugging in x, y values. So down here, this point 0, 0, well, that's going to be 1 minus 0, which is a slope of 1. So I want to make sure to sort of use my squares to help me. So that's a slope of 1 there. Um, any x values that are 1, I'll just have 1 minus the y value. So when x is 1 and y is 0, that's another slope value of 1. 
actually, if either X or Y is zero, I'll have slope values of one. So I can just do all of those as one. Okay. So now if X is one and Y is one, then I get zero. If X is one and Y is negative one, I would get two. So there's my slope of two, etc. So you can go ahead and finish that. And then over here, you have one to do all on your own. You're going to have to draw your own sketches using your tools. So again, just plug in your X's and Y's to figure out what your slopes are. And now here's the ideas you should toolkit. What is a slope field? How do we create one? What is a solution curve? And how do I find a solution curve using a slope field? So all of those are things you did in this activity, but if you wanted to find a written out definition of the slope fields, it's in the toolkit solutions for your notes on slope fields. So now that you've done this, I would like you to try to do this document and then check the solutions. This is our slope fields document. So go ahead and try this. If you would like me to make a video for this, let me know. But I hope that based on what you just did, you will be able to do this along with checking the answers. But again, I'm happy to make a video for it if you would like. And we'll see you in the chat or in the question document.